I'll bet I'm smarter than you. Go on, just ask me anything. Okay, what do you call it when property, such as money, is taken from its owner when that owner would prefer to keep it for his own use? Easy. That is theft. What if the person doing the stealing promises to use the stolen property for your benefit? Or to help the less fortunate? It's still theft. Does it depend on what is stolen? No. Does it matter who is doing the stealing, or is it always theft? It would always be theft. What if the person doing the taking works for government and calls his act taxation? Well, then, that wouldn't be theft. Why not? Because government couldn't do anything without taxation. I thought you said it didn't matter if the thief said he would use your money for good things. You didn't tell me we were talking about taxes. Taxation is theft. When you trade the hours of your life for money, you own that money just as surely as you owned the hours you traded for it. Once they are gone they can never be regained. If the owners of that money did not prefer to keep their own property there would be no need to threaten or penalize people in order to get them to pay taxes. An act doesn't change its nature simply because the perpetrator has a badge or a government job. But taxes are necessary. Maybe the government takes too much money, but without them, we wouldn't have free roads or schools or parks or police or fire departments or safe water or... How much theft is okay? How much cancer is just enough? If money must be taken by force or by threat to pay for something, it is not necessary. There's no good reason roads must be government-owned. Do you think you use roads for free now? Well... You don't. You pay for them and receive an inferior service. One crawling with armed agents of the state who are waiting to waylay you to steal even more money and kill you if you resist. There is a better way. Let roads be privately owned like they have been throughout most of history. And let the owners experiment with different ways of operating. Cities which have eliminated traffic lights and all other traffic signals have seen a dramatic reduction in accidents and an increase in courteous driving. What is the benefit in not following suit? But schools, without them we would all be illiterate and ignorant. Before public schools were imposed, visitors to America noted a high level of knowledge among Americans. After more than a century of public education, graduates are barely literate. Schools kill curiosity and the desire to learn and many people never recover from that damage. And parks? Have you been to a city park recently? Parks suffer from the tragedy of the commons. They belong to no one, so no one has an interest in preserving them. Well, maybe, but without police, criminals would rule our cities, preying on us at will. You mean, the way cops do now? I don't need police patrols, and neither do you. It is your responsibility to watch out for yourself and those around you if you see them being harmed. You can no more delegate that responsibility to anyone else than you can delegate another to eat, drink, or reproduce for you. Fire protection can be, and frequently has been, provided by independent fire departments which use member fees or donations for financing. Water quality can be better served and safeguarded by private labs and individuals who can judge for themselves what is safe to be present in their personal water supply. Government once again, is completely unnecessary. Idiot. If you don't like it, move to Somalia.